Today, I'm gonna to show you how to outline text in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to take simple text and convert it to outline text. We're also gonna show you how to hide the interior so you will see just an outline. We've also got a PSD file that you can download so you can work along with us. So here's our image for today. Now I'm gonna go just quickly go through the PSD. You'll be able to download this, just follow the link right down below if you wanna kind of go through it and follow along yourself. But so let's just go ahead and start off by taking all these layers and making them invisible. And then we'll start with just our background. So we're gonna go one by one and turn these on. We're starting off with a color fill layer that's just did a, a rectangle shape and I've lowered the opacity of that, okay? And then we've got some text. So we've got a uh, red lion and the red lion here at the top. All right, we've got a rectangle here in the center. Again, this is just using the rectangle tool. We've got uh, food and drink text on the bottom and then our logo here. Now the logo, I did a color overlay. So it was black originally. I did a logo to make it red because it's the red line. Now, just quick side note, uh, if you guys are interested in finding icons, I highly recommend this website called The Noun Project. We're gonna link to it right down below as well. It's not sponsored by them or anything. It's just like, I really like that website and I got this line from there, so fantastic. And then here at the end, we just put a rectangle around everything else. So we got like a little cute logo here going on for a completely made up uh, bar. It's actually based on a bar, I think it's in England called The Red Lion. So uh, shout out to that original bar. But getting to the point of this tutorial, I wanna show you guys how to outline text because it's a really cool effect. And not only do we wanna show you how to outline text, but we're gonna show you how to make the inside of the text invisible so you can see the photograph behind it. It's, it's really powerful. You can do a lot of really cool things with this effect and it's very easy. So the text we're gonna focus on here is red lion. Now you can see the is a text layer and then red lion is another text layer. Okay, I just wanted to separate them out. They got different font weights and things like that. So let's go ahead and uh, start with red lion. We're gonna double click right here in this gray bar, which brings up our layer style. You can also go to FX and to blending options. And what we're looking for is right over here, it's called stroke. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Now, when you're on the stroke, you have a, a few settings. So we're gonna go over these. Uh, let's just start with something we can see. So I'm gonna bring our size up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna bring our opacity up and let's give it a color that we can see. So let's go ahead and click on our color and then right there on our red color. Looking good. Now, as we've seen, you can change the size of the stroke. So uh, larger, smaller, super easy. Uh, the position, this is actually pretty cool. It's depending on like where you have the outline of your letter. So let's just zoom in here so we can see the outline of the letter there. Now you can choose that to be inside. So it's gonna be completely on the inside of your letters outside, so it's only on the outside of your letters, or center. Now, depending on what you're planning on actually stroking or what you're planning on outlining, it's gonna be different for every instance. And in this case, I think outside actually works the best. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom that out a little bit. Now, you can most definitely change your uh, blend mode here as well. For instance, if you want like a darkened blend mode, it's gonna try to darken with the background. Maybe overlay is gonna kind of overlay it. You can barely see it, but it basically overlays with the rest of the image. In this case, we're just gonna stick with normal. And as we showed you, you can change your opacity as well. Now, final note, you do have the option to choose your color here. You can also choose a gradient. So if you wanted to outline it with a gradient, uh, check that out. You can click here and go to your gradient editor to load all kinds of fun gradients. Ooh, that's a really fun one. Uh, <laughs> and you could even do it, uh, let's say a radial gradient. All right, and then change the scale of it. Wow, isn't that fun? We're just gonna stick with a color for now. I think red looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and hit okay. Now we've done successfully, we've outlined our text. So if we wanna get back to this, if we're like, I want the outline to change a little bit, you can simply double click here. You'll have your FX dialog, which means you added a layer effect. In this case, that's what the stroke is. So let's go ahead and double click here on the stroke. And then I can change the size right here. So I can get back to this dialogue at any point. You're not stuck with it, which I really like. Now let's say we have like a larger uh, stroke. Like I want, I want a little bit of a larger stroke, but I don't want my letters to be touching. So you can see now like the letters here, the R and the E, it, it's all touching. 
So what you can do there is simply click here on your, you know, on your text, go to window and down to character. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull this character menu out. And here you can change the spacing between your letters. So you can see right now I've got it set to 25. Okay, if I increase this number, let's say I go to 100, look at that, it increases the spacing between each of my letters. It's not changing the size of the letters, it's just, you know, the space in between each of those. All right, we can go back down to zero, which this is this is like standard or regular. Um, I actually think it looked pretty good at 25, and I'm gonna lower down the size of this. So just a little heads up if you are adding an outline between your characters. All right, so let's go ahead and change this back to 25. There we are. I'm gonna double click here on our stroke and I'm gonna bring this number down. There we go. So we have a little bit of a smaller outline. And now comes the magic point where we show you how to make the inside of your letters invisible. So if you wanna hide the letters themselves and just have the outline showing, that's where you go right over here. So here in your layers, you can make your layer on, off and on. You can change your opacity, which is gonna change the visibility of your letters, but it's also gonna affect the outline there. So you can see the outline and the letters are becoming invisible. But if you go down to here where it says fill and start bringing that down, then the letters themselves start to go away, but check it out, the outline is still there. Okay, you could always go back in here and just stroke and I'll say, you know what, I actually want this to be white now, so let's go ahead and choose white as our color and there we go. That looks pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this. Okay, we'll just bring that to the top and I'm gonna hide everything that we've done so far. Let's just group all that stuff. We're gonna hide it. So we'll just say red lion. Just to give you an example of how this, like I think it can actually look really cool uh, when just overlaid over an image, especially you know if you're doing you know something like this, maybe you had a, a smaller crop something like that. So you can still read the text, obviously. In this case, I might like increase the stroke width a little bit so you can read it a little bit better. And then of course, right now the fill is set to zero, but you can do anything, you know, anything from zero to a hundred, okay? So if you want like maybe a little bit of the background or a little bit of the white to show, you can do that as well. So a ton of different options using text as an outline in Photoshop. And that's all there is to it. Now, keep in mind, in this video, we outline text, but you can use this same exact technique to outline anything. Like if you wanted to outline just the lion, super easy, just follow the exact same steps. On the bottom of your layers panel, just go to FX and down to blending options. From there, you wanna add a stroke in which you can choose your color and the width of your stroke. Don't forget, you can choose that to be on the outside, center, or inside of your object. And then if you only wanna see the outline and hide the interior of the layer, all you have to do is lower the fill. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out flurn.com. We've got hundreds of full length, super in-depth, videos. It's kind of like Netflix for creative. Just subscribe and you get access to everything. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. All right, mate, time to grab a pub at the Red Lion. I have here they've got food and drink. And I've also heard they've got a great uh, this outline of their logo. So let's uh, go down to the pub. <laughs> That was really bad. <laughs>